have a look at this folks people have stuck oh my goodness look where they sleep if you drive in your the united nations is going to be in new york and on this not far from here i don't know if i can see show you the building it's beyond that tower just on the far side and all the ministers are gathered the whole world will descend to new york and cause chaos on traffic and trouble the whole community here next next week couple of weeks time or 26th of november uh, september and look at this how can you love humans to be living in this condition this is williamsborough bridge right and protect us Proceed with caution, it says. Look at this person's foot. I mean, can this be real? This is New York. The United Nations is not far from here. And both sides of this building, both sides of this archway, is where, oh my goodness, folks. It's painful. All the international folk will not see this because they come in tinted glass cars they're all paid for they'll come for the latest iphone and that's why united nations meetings are held here in new york and also apple is very quick to release their latest iphone so that they can upgrade when they're here and uh, take it out to the country around the world you don't need any advertising because the moment you see your leaders doing something or got something in their hands, they feel important. That because that's the only thing that they feel important about. Because they got the upgraded version of the iPhone or they got much better than what you've got. So when this is what human beings are constructed of, it is a reality that happiness is what you gathered, not what you made yourself as a human being or as a as a life but what you have gathered and accumulated in this brief time there is no there is no u-haul or ups or dhl service to your grave whatever you gathered you got to leave it here the moment you shed your body your mind your thoughts your emotions all of those will also be shedded and all you're going to take is what you made out of your life because no matter what you did or did not do we all got one place to go and that is for real and that is going back to the earth the earth does not know you exist nor the god knows that you exist here all you can do is the the greatest joy to re return some favor in leaving this planet a little better than how you found it because that's the best you or I or any leader or any religious folk or anyone who does what they do can do if you don't do what you can do you're a disaster for humanity and for this planet and if you continue to see that what you're doing is impactful and this is the reality of life the impact that you cause is right here in front of my video and the impact that you cause is a tremendous pain and hardship for the humanity and for the planet itself the impact you have caused has caused untold number of suffering on this planet if you lived in a profound and a wonderful way The impact that you're going to cause is not going to look like this. It's going to be pleasant and wonderful because that's what the nature is all about. That's what life is all about. If you look at the planet, the existence, the cosmic space on this, on this ever endless expanse of world and the existence, it is so profound. And that profoundness is so impactful in all of us and every life can be constructed in a beautiful ways and it's in the most wonderful ways and whatever you construct it is totally and entirely in your hands 
so-called karma. It is what you make with your life. And how profoundly did you live? Is the most impactful way a life can be. Not your impactful life that caused suffering, but it's your profoundness that became so impactful. And I repeat it so that you lot can understand clearly. 20 years ago, 20, 2001, September 11, beyond that archway is a World Trade Center and downtown. And we are coming to remember or to remember the loss, a sad real realities of our world. And on the other side of this planet, from here in New York, a similar or even more devastating situation is unfolding. And how and who do we know and how do we know that we as human beings are not been caused a tremendous and unknown realities into the future from here on. I hope if you have watched this video and if you have been profoundly true with life, nobody has to tell you how to live and how to be and how to, what to do. If you have truly and truly and amazingly lived life, you will appreciate life no matter what and who and where and what you do. And every step you take will be conscious. Every step you take will become responsible. Every very step you take will become gentle. If you appreciate and if you understand the gentle gentle and fragile, mortal, impermanent nature of life that is surrounding us, you will realize you don't need a Bible, you don't need a script, you don't need a, you don't need any writing or any teaching. You will pay attention to life and life will become a phenomenal experience to you and everything you see, touch, feel, sense and taste will also become equally and wonderfully tasteful. That very earth that you walk upon will start loving you back.